Steel, brick, mortar, glass, skyscrapers, skylines, flashing lights, and logos as far as the eye can see. This is what it means to live in the heart of the city of Toronto. Whether you're a tourist, student, or just grinding the nine to five, the hustle and bustle of city life is all consuming. When you're not busy navigating the intertwining concrete streets, you're navigating the hyperlinks and pathway pages on your laptop, tablet, and smartphones. This is the new urban jungle. Man-made, both physical and digital, and quickly becoming the center stage of most Torontonians' lives. But what about that call for something else? That inner desire within all of us for something lush, green, and bright? Something as simple as a flower, a blade of grass, or the soft shade of a tree? Getting to a cottage can be time-consuming and costly, going far away on vacation even more so. So what do we do? Dr. Matthew Thiessen's answer is simple. We bring nature into the city. Dr. Thiessen's work explores how urban Canadian stress can be relieved through recreational activities in natural settings, even urban ones. Furthermore, urban Canadians are increasingly using mobile communication technologies to connect meaningfully with the natural urban environments and green spaces that permeate Canada's largest cities. Using digital platforms such as trailforks.com, Tyson and other bikers map out routes within the Don Valley as a means of sharing pathways with one another, connecting socially, and ultimately developing an urban space that is both densely digitally layered and ecologically rich. Dr. Thiessen's research is still in progress, but he hopes that once completed, his work will help contribute to a future Toronto rich with green spaces intertwined within the dense cityscape. Green rooms on rooftops, apps that map out secret hidden parks in between skyscrapers, the possibilities are endless. <laughs>